Did our universe originate from black holes? The recent discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope may validate the hypotheses put forth by Nobel Prize winner Sir Roger Penrose. If confirmed, our understanding of the universe might undergo a significant transformation. It necessitates a reconsideration of the idea that our cosmos emerged from within a black hole. Since the summer of 2022, the recently launched James Webb Space Telescope has been actively operating. It is now opportune to assess the remarkable findings it has uncovered, and more importantly, to explore the implications these revelations hold for the realm of science and our cosmic understanding. The inception of this intriguing journey traces back to a profound image of outer space. When NASA initially unveiled this image to the public, the true nature of what lay within remained a mystery. Scientists anticipated the visibility of ancient galaxies in the image, aligning with the primary purpose of the telescope. James Webb was designed to peer into the cosmic dawn, unveiling the authentic appearance of the earliest stars and galaxies. Unexpectedly, a development occurred that defied all expectations. Intensive scrutiny of the image revealed extensive arrays of galaxies, each possessing characteristics, be they too old, too large, too small, too massive, or too faint, that defied conventional cosmological models. Their existence contradicted established norms, challenging our understanding of the early universe. These six galaxies on the verge of being unveiled are poised to reshape our perception of the cosmos permanently. These galaxies rival the mass of our own Milky Way and boast an abundance of ancient red stars. Despite their immense distance, even the most powerful telescopes can merely capture them as diminutive reddish dots. Nevertheless, the subdued luminosity proves sufficient to extract vital information from the color spectrum, unraveling details about the galaxy's age, size, and density. The subsequent revelation added another layer of astonishment, as these galaxies were already in existence when the universe was merely 500 to 700 million years old. While the presence of early galaxies is expected, the initial star clusters were anticipated to be more disorderly, dimmer, and comparatively smaller during this epoch. According to prevailing theories, 13.1 to 13.3 billion years ago marked the emergence of the universe from the Dark Ages, witnessing the formation of the first stars and star clusters. Nevertheless, these six galaxies appear to have already attained sizes akin to our Milky Way during this early phase. The recent findings stand in stark contradiction to established notions regarding the early appearance and evolution of the universe. Initial expectations centered around the existence of small blue baby galaxies during this period. However, these discoveries prompted some scientists to acknowledge the inadequacy or specificity of their previous ideas. This revelation raises the question, could we be observing the oldest black holes? The scientific community now finds itself at a juncture demanding reinvention, leading researchers to propose compelling new explanations for these enigmatic observations. The prevailing co-theory suggests the presence of supermassive black holes. While this concept appears plausible, entertaining the possibility that these six entities are not galaxies but rather black holes introduces an additional cosmological conundrum. Before delving into this, let's explore the specifics of why these entities could be black holes rather than galaxies. These diminutive reddish dots might represent the dust disk surrounding exceptionally large black holes. In the case of highly massive black holes, these disks can radiate with a luminosity comparable to entire galaxies. It's probable that stars orbit these black holes as well, but their brilliance is eclipsed by the dominant red glow emitted by the dust disks. In contrast, the light from young stars, typically associated with youthful galaxies, tends to manifest in a blue hue. 
As these stars mature, depleting their fuel and cooling down, they transition to a redder radiance. The James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered galaxies that defy expectations, existing 500, 700 million years post-Big Bang with large sizes and old red stars. This challenges the conventional view of early galaxies. The suggestion that these entities could be massive black holes surrounded by dust disks is considered, urging a re-evaluation of current scientific theories about the early universe. Current theories suggest that objects of such sizes take as long as galaxies to develop, prompting scientists to reconsider their views in light of recent findings. It's conceivable that stars in the early universe emitted light in a more exotic manner due to a scarcity of heavy elements, suggesting potential differences in the laws of physics or the existence of alternative elements during that era. If accurate, this challenges our understanding of early star formation. Alternatively, if these entities are black holes, there might still be gaps in our understanding of how they originated. While black holes typically form from the collapse of stars, the possibility of their formation directly from gas clouds without star formation adds complexity to our current knowledge. Imagine black holes predating the universe and existing before the Big Bang. This intriguing idea is at the heart of Sir Roger Penrose's groundbreaking theory known as conformal cyclic cosmology. In this concept, the universe undergoes infinite cycles, commencing with a big bang and culminating in a future scenario where black holes stand as the last celestial remnants. Penrose's theory finds support in certain circular patterns in the cosmic microwave background, suggesting the existence of objects predating the big bang. These entities would endure the demise of one universe and persist into the next. This groundbreaking perspective allows for the possibility of a cosmic legacy stretching beyond our current universe's age. The six black holes, potentially older than the universe itself, could be remnants of such a timeless cosmic legacy, providing a fascinating explanation for their existence. Penrose's theory predates the recent observations, with the idea of a cyclical universe and surviving structures being much older. In this cyclical model, a common end scenario involves gigantic black holes absorbing nearly all matter when stars, galaxies, and cosmic phenomena cease to exist. The universe collapses for reasons not fully understood, only to rejuvenate with a new Big Bang. If Penrose's theory holds true for black holes, astronomers still need to identify the first genuine young stars and galaxies in the James Webb images. While considering the potential Nobel Prize-worthy discovery of black holes, it's worthwhile to explore Sir Roger Penrose's lifetime achievements. Despite not attaining the immediate recognition of figures like Stephen Hawking or Albert Einstein until recently, Penrose is undeniably one of the foremost intellects of our era. In 2020, Roger Penrose was honored with the Nobel Prize in Physics for his groundbreaking contributions to Einstein's general theory of relativity and his pioneering work in black hole research. Back in the 1960s, Penrose collaborated with Stephen Hawking to develop the Penrose-Hawking Singularity Theorems. These theorems demonstrated that black holes are an unavoidable outcome of Einstein's theory and must exist in our universe under specific conditions. Remarkably, this was before the actual existence of black holes had been proven. Penrose, recognized as one of his home country's adept scientists, possessed a rare ability to convey intricate mathematical concepts in a manner accessible to both experts and the general public. His ideas, often transcending the boundaries of physics, mathematics, and philosophy, are captivating. For instance, twister theory, an approach seeking to unify quantum mechanics and the general theory of relativity, stands as one of his thought-provoking hypotheses. Quantum mechanics delves into the behaviors of the tiniest components of matter, such as atoms and subatomic particles. 
In contrast, Albert Einstein's general relativity explains the workings of gravity, particularly in relation to large objects like planets and stars. Roger Penrose introduced a novel approach to reconcile these two theories. Departing from the conventional focus on points in space and time, Penrose's theory employs twisters, mathematical entities intended to serve as a bridge between the microscopic realm of quantum mechanics and the macroscopic world of general relativity. Another intriguing theory attributed to Penrose is the ORCH-OR, Orchestrated Objective Reduction Theory, which explores quantum processes occurring in the microtubules of human neurons. Collaborating with anesthesiologist Stewart, he delved into the nature of human consciousness and intelligence. These insights are gaining renewed relevance, particularly in the context of artificial intelligence development and the assessment of associated risks.